Hi, my name is Maya Spivak. I'm going into my third year as a computer engineering student in the Department of Electrical Engineering and Computer Science. This summer I worked on a project with Professor Igor Markov called Hardware-Based Software Protection, a demonstration on an FPGA. So a little bit of background on my project. Um, Web-based software downloads such as iPhone applications enable easy duplication and mass distribution. Um, because you can just download them and then pass them on to as many other people as you want through the web. And global piracy of hardware and software IP is becoming a $1 billion per day industry. And software-only techniques for tamper-resistant software have shown ineffective because people have always been able to find hacks. And hardware-based techniques offer greater promise against these hacks. Some ideas developed in our project are to modify the CPU of a processor to support digital signatures and cryptography. So the processor will check for a digital signature before executing a binary and will also decrypt a given binary. And this is all done in the hardware. And modifications in the hardware cannot be undone through software. So you can't just like put in malicious software to hack it. So in this project we used a FPGA and the soft processor. An FPGA is a field programmable gate array and it can be configured after manufacture. And soft processors can be entirely implemented through logic synthesis so they can be put onto FPGAs. And we use these to build a running prototype of our protection scheme. And this will facilitate a path to an all hardware implementation through Altera hard copy, which means they can um, take our design that we created for the FPGA and put it onto a chip. So some of the added functionality that we did to the NEOS 2 processor, which is the Altera processor, soft processor, is an AES-128 decryption module, and which is a single key cryptography, and then an SHA-256 module, which is a hash function to be used for the digital signature, and then a digital signature algorithm verification module, and that uses public key cryptography, which means there's a private key and a public key, so two separate keys. And we also added doctored conditionals that branch the wrong way if the code has been modified or is running on an unauthorized processor. So this means that if you have like an if-else statement, if it's running on the wrong processor, when it really should have gone to the if, it will go to the else. So the basic data flow for this project is it's, you start with the binary, is, the binary is signed, encrypted, and loaded onto the FPGA board. Then the data is read in by the processor and decrypted using the hardware. Then this decrypted data is put through a hash function for use in the signature verifier. Then the decrypted data is returned to the on-chip memory. So since it's on-chip, like in the CPU, it can't be um, modified by an external source. And then the signature is read from memory and verified. And if it is not verified, the processor aborts the program. And if it is verified, as the processor runs, the processor ID is checked and the conditional branch is the wrong way if the ID is incorrect. That way you can't verify the signature on one processor and then move the code to a different processor. Then finally, the program completes execution and the decrypted data is deleted. Some future work for this project would be to add runtime decryptions of return values of the doctor conditionals, and this will, add, this will add added security to make sure that people aren't transferring the decrypted code to other processors. And also, memory saving in RAM for longer binaries because there isn't that much on-chip memory.